All right, guys. Coach Lair coming out of you tell this tip of the day. Um, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Um, well, short as I can. Because uh, this has been just irritating. Irritating the shit out of me for a long time. Uh, and I talk about it. But tell this tip of the day is stop making excuses no matter what. No matter what is going on. No matter what you think is a reason to validate why you didn't do what you do. Whether it's your boss telling you, your teacher telling you, your parents telling you. Or it's just something that you've agreed to do or something that you said you were going to do. Get it done. Period. And nowadays, um, and it's not just, it's always been like this at some sort of level. But the levels are intentionally rising um, when it comes to allowing failure to be okay. Allowing things to not get done to be okay, allowing kids, young adults, adults, um, leeway and say, well, it's okay that you didn't do this. It's okay that you didn't do that. I'm gonna tell you right now, it, it, it's, like, and it's okay that you lost. It's okay that you failed. It's never okay. It's never okay. Now, do you accept it? Yes. But you have to learn. And what I'm seeing is people are not learning from mistakes and they're not learning from failures. And they're using excuses as a stone to lean on and to change their responsibilities. As if they don't have a responsibility or they didn't need to get it done if they have an excuse, which is complete and utter bullshit. And it is not how the real world works. And it's never going to be how the real world works, no matter what MSM or all kinds of other crap is trying to tell you or teachers are going to tell you there are people that get it done and people that don't get it done. There are winners and there are losers and that will be the fact until the end of time. Remember this, this quote for the rest of your life if you're listening to this. If you don't like this, I don't care. I, <laughs> whether you're a parent, coach, it doesn't matter. I literally, I have four children myself. I have employees and I also train, coach, mentor, and am a father figure to over hundreds of athletes a year at my business. Um, I have coached all of these things. Am I the end-all, be-all? No. Am I perfect? No. Do I have faults? Yes. However, there are facts that I have learned. And this is the quote that you need to learn. You need to say to anybody that can hear it. But your situation or your circumstance does not change, alter, or you know, exclude you from your responsibilities. Your circumstance and your situation is what it is. If you have a responsibility, if you have a duty, you get it done. It does not matter what your excuse is. It does not matter what has happened. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there's a death in the family, it doesn't matter if you got hit by a car, right? Once you are able to mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is, and I shouldn't say emotionally because that's going to be taken the wrong way. When I, I mean, what I mean by hit by a car is when you're awoke and you're awakened. Whenever you are able to communicate or to physically do what you're supposed to do, you do it immediately. And people are sitting there like, well, if I got hit by a car and I'm in a coma, I can't do anything. Everybody wants to use the craziest exclusion to the rule. What I am saying is, if you're late for work, leave earlier. If you didn't do what your boss said, do it. Do it, doesn't matter. If you didn't do what your parents said, homework, responsibilities, chores, whatever, do it. Every single person can look at their schedule and look at something that they've done and realize that was the time I could have not got it done. That was the time I could have got it done. But the problem lies in what you see and what matters. Does it matter at the moment? What is most important? And people are, are waiting to do and fulfill their responsibilities instead of achieving them first and then going to do their own thing. We have got to make it understandable. And this is the thing is like, people wonder why kids get in the real world and they're struggling and why mental um, stability, mental illness is worse than it's ever been. Are you under the impression that you can let kids get away with things and make mistakes over and over without repercussion, right? We're going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We're all human, right? Everybody has it. But 
There has to be something learned. There has to be some sort of repercussion for those actions. So they understand as you get older, those repercussions get real in the real world. What ha what's happening is, is the responsibility and parents are communicating too much for kids. They're not helping them guide them in the process. They're not slowly allowing them to take responsibility for things and to the point where they're almost adults and they should be taking responsibility for everything. They're making cop-outs, making excuses, saying it's their fault, or as, as a parent saying it's their fault. And the bottom line is, is do you think that they're just gonna magically poof, get into the real world and have all this responsibility? It's just like men not having a, a, an actual real male role model or kids not having a good healthy marriage to see and interact with and see what it's like. You, you, you've got to learn that responsibility is something that you have to take serious, whether you are the parent, because this, I mean, this isn't just for kids and athletes or anything, like this is anybody. You have a responsibility to put forth the best possible version of yourself day in and day out. And if you don't get something done, you failed. It's okay, we all do. But learn from it, don't make excuses, and get it done as soon as you are physically possible to get it done. Tell the tip of the day, stop making excuses no matter what, out. <laughs>